Hey everyone, so with Kaigen on the horizon for global and the D Dragon Cavalier job enchantments coming out soon, I figured it'd be a good time to go over Rosa and her future post Kaigen. So Rosa is going to be getting the Vrita Dragon Cavalier enchantment, which will change one skill on her main job and change her entire sub job kit. But before we get into that, let's take a quick look at her Kaigen. So for her Kaigen, as you can see, I have her at 553. The first gate is mainly used for HP. And as you can see up here, it gives you an extra 485 HP, 10 attack, and 2 speed. And her gate 2, when it's maxed out, it doesn't really give you many stats itself, but the actual maxing of gate 2 will give you an extra 3 jump attack and 25% physical attack, which will boost your damage to relatively respectable levels. And we leave gate 3 at 3 for the extra 1 speed and 9 evade. Uh, she's not an evasion unit, so there's no reason to take it to 4 or 5. So, let's take a quick look at her uh, gear setup. For Nenso, she has her own Nenso. And it gives her 480 HP when it's max limit break, and 5 jewel gain. The other setup here is 72 magic defense, but she's really squishy and it doesn't matter all that much. Um, when you max out a Nenso, you get its vision clear reward. She gets this book, which gives her 7 starting gems, 10 to death sentence, 10 evade, and 10 extra jump damage. Um, other gear I have on her is regen armor, which is 431 HP, 5 jewel gain, and it gives her auto regen. <clears throat> and the last item I have here is the Vita ring, which is just there for attack because I don't have the clock up kunai. She'd much rather run the clock up kunai for the extra 10 speed, but since I don't have them, I run the Vita ring. The other option you have is to run the jewel, re the jewel kunai, which give you a bunch of starting jewels. Um, I don't have mine at 5 star, but this these jewel kunai, at, jewel kunai at 5 star would give you, I believe, 20 starting jewels. Um. <clears throat> so, even though she got the uh, Dragon Cavalier job enchantment, I run her as a ninja. The main reason you want to run her as ninja, as you can see over here, she has 183 speed as a ninja, as opposed to much, much less as a Dragon Cavalier at 148. Um, she also gets 5 move as a ninja, which is going to be of great help later. She runs her ninja main, her Dragon Cavalier sub, the HP drain on her reactive. This one right, this one right here is... Uh, sky high it's just the uh upgraded version of it from the kaigen and over limit from her first job so i am going to take her into a map now and show you how she performs as a unit I'm going to use Lavina in my first slot so you can see your damage without a leader skill. And then once we're done with this, uh, once I'm done showcasing her uh, changes to her skills, we'll switch over to a damaging leader skill so you can see what kind of damage she can really pull off. So, because of the uh, high cost of her uh, sub skills, unless you run the uh, initial jewel above and beyond her VCR, you will not have enough jewels to pull off what she wants to pull off. So you're going to have to go and hit something first. Um, in global, you have access to the hat, but I'm not sure if you're going to have room for that on her actual kit. Because she wants to run the uh, VCR, a weapon, and preferably regen armor. So as you can see, her sub kit here has only three abilities into it instead of the five or so jumps that her old sub kit had. Um, the first one here is a five space or a five square single target jump for some relatively decent damage. And the second one here is a four range AOE jump. And the last ability is a 2.5 jump attack charge up, which is where her real damage is going to be coming from. 
So part of what makes Rosa so great, and one of the reasons you want to run her as a ninja, is she has five move and a five move jump. That means she can hit a target from ten squares away in a single turn. For, as what you can see here, some actually pretty good damage. And she can also hit groups of enemies, taking out multiple units at a time with some rather high damage jumps. Uh, jumping is a nice damage type because it's rare that you get maps that resist it. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to switch over here to a damaging leader skill so you can see what kind of damage she can actually pull off. Um, I'm going to use Golmaras. Uh, my Golmaras has his uh, Gate 3 Kaigen. Uh, uh, Gate 3 Kaigen maxed out. So his uh, leader skill is 20% HP, 30% attack, and 20% dark. It actually equates to slightly lower damage than a, just a straight 50% physical attack leader skill, but it's really not that much, and the extra 28% HP is totally worth it. So, we'll go into the map here, and I will uh, show you Rose's damage here. So, she'll be able to do a lot more damage with this. The um, jump kit scales completely off physical attack, so whenever she gets more physical attack, she does a lot more damage. And in this case, it's about 1.5k on neutral enemies, and about 2,000 on light enemies. So... This is pretty much her kit. Rose is a very straightforward unit. She has six jumps, and after that, she's pretty much done. Um, in her sub kit, she, or not her sub kit, in her main, she gains access to this nice little teleport, which can sleep. And like all other ninja, she has the clock stop, which can be useful in some maps. But in general, she's not going to use her main ninja kit unless you need a very specific status on a certain map. She's mostly just six jumps, and then she's done. Um, and while that might not seem like it's super helpful, Rose's main job is to either delete an enemy or to put large damage down on a boss, which the deeper and deeper Global goes in the Kaigen content, you'll start getting bosses with higher and higher HPs, like 10,000 or 20,000. And in fact, there's even a boss at the top of Vita with around 40,000 HP. So these really high damage units are going to come and oh, just become very useful in the future. Also, Dark tends to ha not have a lot of good farmable units. Dark has a lot of limited units, so Rosa being farmable is a huge plus for her. I highly suggest getting Rosa, especially early, when because she will her Kaigen will come a lot earlier than a lot of other units. So she'll be a powerhouse early and carry you for a long time to come. Um, so that's pretty much all I have to say on Rosa at this point. If you have any questions about her, um, feel free to ask in the comments section. I'll do my best to answer. And if you want to see any other units, just let me know and I'll see about uh, doing them too. Uh, this was a bit of a dry run. And if just looking to see if people are interested in this kind of content. So if you are, let me know. And um, maybe I'll see you next time.